So let's talk about these two quarterbacks, Brock Purdy, Jordan Love. I asked Nick Bosa today to give his assistant to Jordan Love. I love asking Nick Bosa about the upcoming quarterback because he's just honest. You can pretty much figure out what Nick Bosa thinks of that guy. And you know the the meat like the worst thing he could say about a quarterback is you say, Well, what's the key to stopping this guy? Jalen Hurts, for example. He'll say, Oh, you know, make him play quarterback. It's like, oh God. He'll say it on the record. He'll say it's so calm. Usually you think that's the kind of thing that the other team would put on their bulletin board if they had such a thing. But anyway, I asked him about Jordan Love and he said, you know, he goes through his reads really well. He he, he runs that system to a T. But uh we really got to take away the run game. Got to take away oh, those boy. those quick easy throws. Got to make them uncomfortable. I don't I don't really I, I haven't really seen anyone make them uncomfortable. We're going to make them uncomfortable. Which you know what that means? He's a system quarterback. That's what Nick Bosa it. says. He's a system I'm, quarterback. He's not bad. He can run this system, but he's not a game changer. And Jerry McDonald, God love him, right right after was like, well, I mean, uh, do, 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 are you saying there's, there's some similarities between him and Brock Purdy? Because a lot of people, I mean, Jerry McDonald didn't say it, but a lot of people would say, Brock Purdy's a system quarterback. And Nick Bosa immediately was like, well, yeah, you know, I could see they're really smooth through their reads, but Purdy makes a lot more plays from what I've seen. But, you know, we'll see. It's like, oh, wow. Thank you, Nick. I love Nick. You know, I, I love that. I've never met him. I also would say, what you're getting from Nick is what Wilkes is thinking. Yes, and what Kyle's thinking. It's essentially what probably, probably what the coach said in the team meeting, and Nick's like, I'll just tell him. Yeah, it's it's not just his own thought. He's no. relaying what the Niners think of that quarterback. Yes. That's yeah. what you're getting. Yeah. Oh, Nick, I love you. He's I love best. you, That's why Nick. he won this award, the Gary Niver Award. He just lets it go. Kyle does to a degree as well. Okay. Um, I want to compare the two quarterbacks. Yeah. I, I've Iggy, I'm going to make a statement, which, okay. um, we, we <laughs> talked about this before. So uh, Purdy's good, but could he run so-and-so's offense like the Ravens mm -hmm. offense? No, I think these two quarterbacks are interchangeable. I think yeah. each could run the other's offense. Do you agree yes. with that statement? Completely agree with that statement. Yes. Could you, um, enlarge on it? Well, they, they, you both run similar schemes. Uh, Matt LaFleur and Kyle Shanahan work together in Atlanta and Washington. Uh, schemes are this year predicated on play action and moving the pocket and throwing on the run, um, handing the ball off. It's not a big drop back passing offense. It's, it's a balanced play action passing offense run game. And I think both of them do it really well. Bo both guys operate in offenses where receivers are open a lot and they find them. And I think that yeah. what's funny is Purdy said, uh, Bosa said, oh, well, Purdy's a bigger playmaker than Love. I bet the Packers would say that Love's a bigger playmaker than Purdy. Both of them have playmaker ability, but are essentially yeah. asked to manage the game for their teams. Both of them can be playmakers, but aren't really, don't really have to be the way maybe Josh Allen has to be. Um, and I think what's interesting is that over the last 10 games, both are seven and three. These are the two highest rated quarterbacks in the league over the last 10 games. These two guys. But Love has been extremely careful. He's one pick. And Purdy wants to show that he's a gunslinger and he has 10. And yet he still has a higher quarterback rating than Jordan Love, which shows how good Brock Purdy is. Both very good. And they're a little bit different in that way. I love it. I love what you're saying. Yeah. I think they have actually similar skill sets, i.e., um, Love has a stronger arm, yes. but uh, Purdy may be a little more accurate. He's yes. really accurate. He puts the ball between the numbers. He's wonderful yeah. that way. And he may, re before the snap, may read the defense a little better than Love. Um, I, I think a little better. I rate them kind of similar. I, I, I really admire Purdy and I really admire love and i think you know people might say oh love is a better athlete um and purdy is more cerebral i want to say something about that because i've thought about that a lot there's a cliche that um black guys are more natural uh, and white guys are more thoughtful um <laughs> for years i worked at the chronicle with my dear friend ron thomas a black guy 
who covered the Warriors and the Niners with me, and now is a professor at Morehouse College in Atlanta. And he was really didn't like stuff like that. Um, he, whenever you would talk about natural ability, because the other side was, it means the black guy isn't as bright. And he would, and if I ever said it or wrote it in a column, he would let me have it. And so I've learned not to think in that way because it's not a good way to think. So I think that people might assume that Jordan Love is a better athlete, um, maybe even quicker than Brock Purdy. I'm not so sure of that. On the other hand, they might think Brock Purdy is more cerebral. I'm not so sure of that. This Jordan Love strikes me as really sharp. So I, I consider them in terms of brains on the field and in terms of athletic ability, very equal. Yeah, and you know, they're both, to me, mobile quarterbacks. I wouldn't consider yeah. either one a pocket stationary quarterback. They both move very well, but neither one runs that much. Uh, right. Love ran for about 250 yards, pretty ran for about 140 yards. But when you're constructing a game plan to stop them, you have to be thinking about containing them in the pocket. Right. Not just, you know, rushing them or with Br Tom Brady, people, people used to talk about, you got to get them off the spot. You can't let them just stand there and tie you up. Now nah, you want to keep Jordan Love and Brock Purdy on their spot. Don't let them start scrambling around because then they're you're at their mercy. With Purdy, when he's in the pocket, he's excellent, but he's also a little small, and he can get engulfed a little bit. He's better when he rolls out to his left and he can just see everything. I do think right. that as good as Purdy is, he just the ball floats out of his hand. He's Barry Zito out there. No offense, Love really throws it hard. And I don't know if that's really, if it's a big difference, but I think Love can probably challenge a little bit more areas of the field. Doesn't necessarily make him better. I did notice in that game, he'd have guys wide open. He'd throw it to them and, and just make these leaping, twisting, acrobatic catches with no one around him. And you don't see that with, you don't see Brock Purdy do that to his receivers. Yeah, he's a little more precise. Yeah. He Iggy, is. who's older between the two of them? I should have looked it up. Who's older? Love. Love is a year older. He's 25. Purdy's 24. Okay. They could be playing each like, other a lot in the playoffs the next few years. You know, Iggy, your your audio is very good, but your um, video occasionally is freezing up a little. Yeah, I, I don't know what's going on with my internet. It it, it says that, but anyway, I'm, I'm powering through it. I'll talk to Xfinity. I'll call them up. I'll let them know. <laughs> You're always welcome to do it at my house. All right. Well, if it keeps if it keeps messing up, I'll have to I'll have to think about it. Let's go. Uh, anyway, but your 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 audio is good. Audio's good. Okay. okay. Have my video right now. No, it's okay. Okay. Frank Tom Ocean been a member for 10 months. Thank you, Frank. Jeffrey Franco says, Would you rather have love and AJ or PB and CMC? Love and Aaron Jones or Brock Purdy and CMC? Brock Purdy mm -hmm. and CMC. Can't go wrong. Sure, I'll go with them too. But Love and Aaron Jones are excellent as well. Brother Bob. Does Papa Cone and Iglet need your predictions for Saturday? Both picking the Niners. Not by We're 10. We're both picking the Niners. On yeah. the goal line, because the Packers' defense is genuinely bad. Didn't look bad against the Packers. The game against the Cowboys was more of an indictment on the Cowboys and a credit to the Packers, in my opinion. Okay. We'll see. That's why we're picking the Niners. Gerardo Rangel. Five bucks. Thank you very much. Rodriguez Spurgeon says, currently deployed and watching the show from Iraq. Can I please get a shout out to Late Night Herbal and the Do Regard Boys? Papa C is the GOAT. Yeah, well, give me a shout, shout out, out, Iggy. Shout out Late Night Herbal and the Do Regard Boys. You know, we have a dear friend who was deployed in Iraq. He was a we captain. Do. That's we right. Do. Matt Rowe. Matt Rowe, Matt Rowe. West, Coast, West Coast graduate. I'm sorry, West Point, West Point. graduate. And uh, we generally have dinner with him every Friday night. Gerardo Rangel says, will the rain play a factor on Saturday's game? Well, we'll see. Um, if it makes it harder to grab the ball, hold the ball for the quarterback, it'll be, it'll be harder for both quarterbacks. They'll have to run more. Well, I think we just saw this a little bit with Tua and Patrick Mahomes in that weather. When you do have quarterbacks who don't have the strongest arm and it's raining or it's cold, you start to worry about what it's going to look like for them. You wouldn't worry about that with Love as much because he throws the ball really hard. But, I mean, when we saw Purdy in Cleveland, it was raining there. That was one of his worst games. So it would be 
it would behoove the 49ers for it not to rain. Maybe they could stop the rain. Maybe they could do a rain dance. <laughs> for Life Niners says GB taxes go to the Super Bowl. I'm done. Think about it. GB slash taxes go to the Super Bowl. Texas? Taxes. Texas? Taxes. I, I'm confused. I'm sorry. Think about it. Ryan, I'll think about it. Ryan Kessler just became YouTube member. Thank you very much, Ryan. Last one, Suki Pazuki says, did you guys ever work with Mike Sando? Yeah. I know Mike Sando. I know Mike he's Sando. He's a great guy. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's a great guy. Also, you know, Mike Sando is a big boxing fan. We used to have a lot of uh, fun talking about Sando. Good guy.